I want to give you guys an overview of all the controls and inputs outputs of the zombie. To get started, on our right we have our input jack and on our left we have our output jack. On top of the input jack we have our expression input that can be used also for external tap tempo or CV control. Our right foot switch is our bypass foot switch and on our left is our ramp and rate foot switch. The bypass foot switch will turn the pedal on and off while our ramp and rate foot switch can do tap tempo and controls our filters and modulation movements. In between the foot switches we have our preset toggle. That's where you're gonna have your saved presets or go on to live mode. At the very center of the pedal we have the filter router, one of the most important controls of this pedal. That's where you're gonna decide if you're gonna be using filter modes or amplitude modes. To our right we are applying the filter to the instrument signal, to our left we are applying the filter to our parasite low octave. In the center we enter the amplitude modes. On our top right we have the B control, that's our instrument signal. On alternate controls it could also be our rate or ramp down. And on top of it we have our buzz level, that's the amount of gain that we're going to apply to our instrument signal. On our left we have the parasite, that's our low octave volume. This control on alternate controls could also perform the tap division, the pattern selections or the ramp up. On top of it we have our mode toggle, that's where you will select between the three different filter modes or the three different amplitude modes. And at the center of the pedal we have our wingspan. It can also perform multiple functions from the sweep or depth or even the tone control for our low octave. The zombie uses a standard 9 volt power with center negative 2.1 millimeters connector. It draws 100 milliamps, so pretty much any standard pedal power supply should work.